We're here this morning with Mr. Um, uh, Richard Pye. Richard has also just become president of the International Council of Tanners. The Chinese co economy has, as we knew would happen at some stage, started to slow and things are changing right now. And you're in quite a variety of the Southeast Asian countries. How do you see the mix changing over the next few, few years? But, uh, we must real, realize, you know, no other country can keep two digital, you know, growing from their GDP every year for more than, you know, mm -mm, decades. And so economic needed to a little bit adjustment. So really faces on the, uh, on over there, so the China market is adjusted from mm, over 10% of GDP growing. Now they are mm -mm, adjusted in 7% because this is a, uh, the base of the economic, is, you know, since compared 30 years ago, is much bigger. So even now, since seven percent, people feeling is slow down. But actually, it's, it's, uh, even this five percent, I believe it's uh, much more than the majority of the developed country in Western country. So um, that is uh, you know, mm -hmm. just as a need to adjust for the production location. Because of when people, you know, upgrade their living standards, they are chasing for the others. But uh, we know that a lot of the shoe manufacturers, they are moved out from China, you know, especially for the, those brands during export business used to be from China. We're moving to Vietnam, Cambodia, or Burma, or Bangladesh. Even they are talking about in India. This is the trend because of, you know, people, needed from the very traditional and labor intensive business to salute different countries, you know, to help the country, everybody can have a job. That's the first. That's just like 30 years ago, we know in China, we says, you know, Deng Xiaoping says, you know, making this market more open, more growing. So we, most of the South Asia country, they also, when they, Trace back to, for China as so changing. They want to follow their step. That is the way. So in the position right now, they have the much cheaper label. That is one part of the encouragement. This is a, a, shoe, a special shoe industry using very high label intensive. And a lot of people need it. And China, you know, since we know there's a you know, one child policy, you know, for passing decades. And this is a uh, less, less is a young generation, you know, and we just also help the economic improve inside of the China. So people, mm -mm, every parent don't want their only single child, leaving them very far. And also we, we recognize inside of the China province, their living standards also improve. So this is the uh, structures, you know, changing. Um, so. But uh, we don't forget that no other country have so strong infrastructure in shoe industry. In other industry, I might be not very familiar, but in shoe industries, you know, all of the components, all of the quick delivery, all of the people with a skill, a technician, line builders, so well trained in passing 20 years, working China, working with Taiwan, we cooperate to build up this. And now they are needed to time changing from export, you know, come to, to the domestic. So I really strong fear, certainly in very strong sources in China, not only for the 10 years, even for the, you know, 100 years, I believe that they can be, have their operation systems, you know, for this market. The other very sharp, you know, changing is for our automobile industry, you know, China is now already the biggest car uh, 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 producer country. And you know, from a lot of the, you know, um, um, private car, for passenger cars, they are using interior, which is the laser material. That's also very high percentage than Western country. This is why um, my, um, a lot of my friends from car seat, tannery, um, they also have a very continued investment in this country. So. For tenories as an industry, I strongly believe China still will be the number one and also its leadership 
in the war. Thank you very much, Richard. Absolutely fascinating to hear. I think from what you're saying, next year's World Leather Congress here in Shanghai is going to be a magnet for not just the whole regional uh, membership and those interested in leather with all the changes going on, but also for the rest of the world to come because what's changing here is going to impact everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you.